It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Oh my god. <laughs> Today is one of those full on grungy, disgusting New York days. And I'm feeling better, so I'm loving it because I haven't been outside in like five days. It's all beautiful to me, man. We're taking the charming walk to Bergen Bagels. Or Ber Bergen's Bagels. Ber Bergen? Ber it's Ber Bergen Bagels because it's on Bergen Street. <laughs> Mr. Berg's. I want to go Bergen Bagel. Someday, someday we're gonna make it big. And we're gonna live down the street. We're gonna live down the street. I like that face. Sorry, Mr. Bus Driver. Uh, every time I film here, everyone's just like, "Why are you filming me? <laughs> Why are you doing that?" Everybody's got something to hide. Everybody's got something to hide. Yeah. Underhill. My name's Underhill. When is uh when does Hoblet come out? That's oh, soon, man. right? Probably Christmas. I'm actually kind of excited for Hoblet. <laughs> Last time it came out on Christmas, the Fellowship one. Oh, okay, so. I remember, so. Well, we're gonna be dead by that Christmas. So. Yeah, no, there's no way we're making it. You know how um, like origin stories are kind of like the flavor right now in cinema? Yeah. I, I can't wait for that to blow over and perhaps have like the antithesis of that, which would be like how everyone dies. How everybody dies. <laughs> I think that would be really funny. <laughs> well, I was thinking like that's what they should do with Batman. They should do that one where he's like 50. Yeah, um, what is it next? The next gen Batman where it's like the little cyberpunk goth kid, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah. And he's like super beyond. thin and yeah, beyond that's it. And Bruce Wayne's just like, I'm fucking old. <laughs> you're not a, you're not my son, but you you have the same hobbies as me, you'll do. <laughs> God, it looks really cool outside when it's really shitty outside. There's smoke coming off the Williamsburg Bank Tower. I don't think you can see that, but... Burning the money. Burning down the money. Here, just dense it. Whoop! Yeah, a little bit of smoke. Oh my god, this lens is gross here. I'm gonna hide the lens over the... Oh, I'm still lightweight. Oh, hey! I'm sorry, I'm paying attention to the tower again. Oh, that's okay. It's working. It's working. Screen's a lot better. I'm sorry, buddy, but that dirt was never coming out of you. And though you are shiny, you are now the guest camera, which means I'll probably give you the Harrison or something. for the black one because it's a little more stealthy. Allows you to look a little more insane when you're holding a camera. Hmm. Hmm. I can't decide if this looks better or if this the screen looks better. I guess there's no way for me to know until I get home. Here they come. Is Jeffrey home? Jeffrey? Jeffrey, you want to go see Hugo? Uh, Huggo? It's not a robot, it's a boy feature film. Had to buy it again. It's like all of you guys had to fucking buy it. <laughs> ready, ready for Huggo? I am so fucking ready for Huggo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the kind of asshole who would laugh at you, but then I just really want it when I see it. It's true. It smells, it smells like my childhood. Oh yeah. I don't know. I think it I'm tastes a, like your childhood. I want, I want bad popcorn. That's more my childhood. We do. It's gonna be some really bad popcorn. Yeah. yeah. So we're going. Like yeah, we're going to the, the Cobble Hill, Cobble Hill Theater, which is very small. Cobble Hill. Tiny, tiny theater. Really big prices. Oh. It's a tiny little baby hands theater. Let's open up the theater. What's that? Oh, dude, you know, you know how badly I want to do that? <laughs> yeah. Is that your new camera? Yeah, it's the same camera, it's just uh, clean and new. Uh, Depth. So, uh, one sentence about Hugo. Uh, it felt, uh, in the beginning of the movie, it, I, was, I was saddened because it felt disingenuous and insincere, and then I got even more sad because it was very sincere and very genuine. 
sounds good. You got a sentence, Jeff? Um, whimsical boy doesn't do much. Okay, <laughs> that's good. It fucking sucked. Yeah, I was gonna say, you go waste the time. Yeah, these are my only fucking groceries that I've had for like, <laughs> I've gotten a lot of use out of them though. You've got, I'm, I'm sure you're getting better too. This looks really good. I don't know if um I don't know if you've confessed to the vlog yet, but I know that uh, Ricky makes the best uh, hash browns in the land, bar none. <laughs> my hash brown mama. Like my new camera. <laughs> Everyone tell Ricky what a wonderful shirt that is. <laughs> she bought it today at Instagram for nine dollars. Can you believe that? Look at her. Not today, the other day. Oh, the other day. I'm sorry. The me. days all blend together. Okay, so what we're doing is, is Ricky is our designated mail lady. Because she loves opening mail, and my parents sent me a package. Let's see what's inside. I can hardly fucking wait. Not show the address. I was trying to make <laughs> I know. Your heart was in the right place. I'm stupid. Oh, what could it be? <laughs> oh, also, Nicole, nice meeting you today. I saw a fan in the subway. He's like, are you on Grand Life? And I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. This is the J Street Metro Tech. We're after seeing Hugo, which... <laughs> okay. Did you like it? It was really bad. One of the worst ones I've seen recently. What do we got here? There you go. There we go. Unboxing. And stuff, stuff. Vest. Oh my god, did I get a vest? I got like an, a fleece vest. And one of your jeans. Under Armour. Oh boy. Oh boy. Under Armour. And this. What's this? I hope this is money. Okay. What is this? What could this be? Oh. This is Ricky. Serious gloves, mm -hmm. awesome. That's for Ricky. Look at my parents. I love my parents so much. I'm gonna open it. They really love you. You should, you should, you should open it. I'm excited to see what it is too. It's probably a scarf because my parents. My parents. It's really pretty. It actually matches your shirt. Yeah, it does. Thank you, mom. Man, oh, showed the address. Let's do another one. <laughs> Thank you, Wyatt's mom. <laughs> Thank you, Wyatt's mom. <laughs> I showed the address in the last clip, so I had to had to retake that one. Mm -hmm. Even though you guys already know where it is, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I feel like you would stab me. That is sparkly. sparkly. Is that sequins? It's like, nah. But it might as well be. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You look wonderful, dear. Look like Amelia Earhart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna slow it down and set it to music, and you're gonna be like the hottest shit ever. No. <laughs> yes. I touched over and we class. You're gorgeous. What are you talking about? <laughs> then look at this. This is the coup de gras. I got some more socks. I have some lumberjacky socks. Mm -hmm. I'm like Paul Bunyan now. I'm like seven feet tall, so this is cool. And then look at these serious ass boots. If only it would snow, I could use them. Now I wish it would snow. Oh, these are nice. Wow. Look at how happy I am in the reflection over there. I've seen ads for those ones on the subway. Oh yeah? Yeah, they had them at the Fulton station. My parents must have seen them on the subway too and then went home to Florida and bought them. Ow. Thanks mom and dad, I love you guys. You guys are always spoiling me like the only fucking child I am and I love you so much for it. And Ricky loves her presents too. Every day is Christmas when your parents are wonderful. You want to take this out for me? Oh, it's pink. Oh! Oh, God. Guess who's who. See how what a red that you? That's me. Yeah, you're so cute. That's Greg and Wes. Oh god. <laughs> isn't that great? He has the same that, smile. Isn't that great? Yeah. It's the same smile. Isn't that beautiful? Who's that? Is that my dad? I think that's oh man, what a hunk. <laughs> he's got my he's got my <laughs> I've never seen this picture before. Hey dad. <laughs> he's a card, that one. He's jacked. Look at what a hunk my dad was. Man, if only I was sexy like him. And that's where I came from. <laughs> Is that too much? <laughs> I'm always pushing the limit. That's always what I'm trying to do here. Pushing the limit on entertainment. Oh boy! There's me and my dog, Sniggy. Oh man, you looked way more like your mom when you were little. Did I? Yeah, look. I dad it out. It looks so much like your mom. Like, your face looks like a lot like your mom's Look, I'm wearing a Boston shirt, go figure. And that's Sniggy, he was dumb as shit. He was dumb as shit. And I'm right in front of the piano, I never learned how to play, even though my mom wanted me to. But I was too busy playing video games! Fuck piano! <laughs> I tried piano too. Did you? Yeah. How'd that end? Not very good. Because <laughs> everyone was like, you have such big hands. Ricky. You should do it, Ricky. For a girl, your hands are huge. What makes you think like Er, don't think that I don't like you guys because I'm really lazy. You just have to understand that I'm really lazy. That's all it is. Like, when you send mail, I really enjoy this. I just, I usually want to wait for Justin, and getting us both to do anything at the same time is nearly impossible because, like, that's why we're friends. We're both lazy, <laughs> which makes this vlog hard. 
Oh, did you get tangled up in there? Yep. Your scarf? Oh, Are you stuck? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, hey, really you! Cute. Aw. This is really cute. This I'm a Michigander, here. born and raised. Aw. Yay! Yay, Michigan! I didn't know what it was until I met you. I honestly didn't know Michigan. I'm an idiot. Yeah, oh, look no, at Michigan that. Is that Chicago? Was... Chicago, Illinois. That's not Michigan. She was from Jesse. She's from the Midwest. Thank you, Jesse from the Midwest. I'm sorry I took us so long. As I'm sorry that it took us so long for us to address everyone's, but is a pack of cigarettes? Right. No, tissues. <laughs> Holy shit, I hope those are still good. They probably aren't, but I love you anyways for it, and that's completely my fault. I feel so bad. I need to start reading mail in a timely yeah, fashion. Yeah. Guys, I'm sorry. I feel really bad. Whiskey Pecan, these are for you guys. Awesome, whiskeys. This is some really serious crazy. shit here. Are you no, fucking... Is this is meant for me. It's for you. Just Everything you send, Ricky eats. <laughs> Everything you send, Ricky is secretly hoarding. Remember when someone said that? Oh, like... yeah, that was a theory. That was somebody... <laughs> like, said, yeah. I think Wyatt took the things from Ricky's house and left them there. <laughs> hey, Jesse, I'm sorry that I fucking took so long to open your shit, but you know what? I'm leaving the little note you put within the Starburst, because just why not? It struck my fancy. Just put it on my desk, and that'll be on my desk until it falls off. So, thank you. I should, um, actually, I'm going to buy one of those, like, poster board things so we can put all this shit in one locale so you guys can see that, hey, look, I got to it. <laughs> Smells like mommy. The cat's been freaking us out because she started... The cat's been freaking out? No, has been freaking us out because she started, like, <laughs> laying by the door and reaching her feet under and, like, rattling it on its handle. Fuck so you'll that. be like in the bathroom or like in the living room and all of a sudden you'll hear like Shh. Like someone's like trying to break into the apartment and they're like grab the nearest So shit, let's go to bed And by go to bed I mean edit <laughs> No, let's go to bed. She gave me the most adorable look <laughs> Okay, yeah, good night guys. Um, I'm glad I'm feeling better. I'm glad I can do this again. I missed you guys Fucking yeah, and Nicole nice meeting you again. If you ever see me I because she thought about it she looked at me and she was like, is that? And I was like, oh, does she recognize me? I had that feeling, you know? So if you ever do see one of us in public, just say hi. Like, we won't, we don't bite. Especially Ricky. People see Ricky all the time and they never say hi. <laughs> the zookeeper at the Brooklyn Zoo sees Ricky and, and tweets about it. It's funny. Okay, good night, guys. I'm gonna fall on her. No, don't.